Hello everyone, I'd like to welcome you to Brazil again. I'm done. I'm so f***ing done with this track. I'm so done. I sit quite comfortably in P15, in Massauba, in Brazil, again, and I do apologise for that, but, you know, we'll gloss over that one as we leave the grid, and the Ferrari instantly pulls out of my way and gives me P14, which is very nice, and we've got a Colombian Caterham just ahead of me there in P13, unlucky P13, he goes wide into turn one, and I go up the inside, oh, contact, and I've illegally overtaken someone, not entirely sure where that's from, but, uh, it seems to have vanished now, so that's happy days. Now we're going through turn four. I'm in P7 out of 16, gained a lot of positions in the first corner. It's the Colombian going wildly around my outside in a in typical Colombian fashion. And, uh, well, he's taken the position off me. I'm down into P8. There's four cars abreast, three cars abreast, nine cars abreast as they go through this corner. That, that could have ended horribly. I'm surprised they're all still on the road. I sit behind them. I'm going up the inside of my teammate, McLaren, out. And I've taken P6, and uh, it's gone well. The Colombian's still just ahead there. Car's committing down my inside, left, right, and centre. That made zero sense, because if a car's committing down my inside, it can only be on my right-hand side. So how they're committing down my inside on the left-hand side really is a mind f Anyway, I'm just behind the catering. No, I'm not, because I've just gone round his outside. Yes, I am, because he's taking the position back off me. We're approaching towards the final contact with it. Oh, contact! Massive accident. Oh, I'm facing the wrong direction. I'm down into P12. It's all gone. It's all gone absolutely pear-shaped. It's gone more pear-shaped than a pear. And uh, that's uh, that's impossible, that, actually. You can't be more pear-shaped than a pear, because otherwise it's not a pear. I think uh, at this stage we can come to the conclusion this commentary has got out of hand. Anyway, we've just passed the HRT there. That's nice, and I'm up into P10. Which means I'm in the points and inside my target position finish, but I'm still miles down on where I was. But I'm not so far down anymore, because the Toro Rosso's just spun out into turn... Whatever that is, it's the end of the center S as he spun out and has gifted me P9 and now my position is a singular figure and we all know what that means. It means my, uh, my position is a singular figure. Anyway, I'm, uh, I, I'm, 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 I need to go to the toilet so I'm just gonna, just gonna hand you over to my tame commentator for a little while. Some say he thought F1 was a food colouring and that Lewis Hamilton was the Secretary of Agriculture. But all we know is he's called Matt. Yes, yes, we're, we're in Rio in a white car with bit, uh, bits of black on it. We're cruising in a zebra. So I'm going to abuse the Kurds here and storm... Oh, 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 bit of contact with this uh, th uh, red car. He's Canadian here. Eh? Ooh, you little hoser. <laughs> Nevertheless, he's a dirty goose horse slurping up my slipstream. I think P1 is still on the cards, though, so I'm going to... No, no, stop, stop. What are you talking about? Slurping up his slipstream? This is awful commentary. I, I, I can't let you live. No, please... <laughs> Moving on, we're up into B6 as we approach the final lap of this Grand Prix, and we all know what the final lap means. It means it's the final lap. No more after this one. So, we're hunting down a Ferrari. It is a Ferrari, not a red car. God, that was embarrassing. Anyway, we're hunting him down, and we're in, uh, well, he's P5. So, if we can get top 5 when our target is top 10, then you, you can say that's a good Grand Prix. You can say that's a successful race considering all the shenanigans that have taken place. So he's Canadian, and he's getting reeled in at the moment. As you can see, he's a much closer than he was. He's 0 0.438 seconds behind. The guy behind me is 1.318 seconds behind. So, well, he's a way off. He shouldn't be looking to catch me anytime soon, but I'm still hoaring this. Oh, he's gone deep. He's gone way too deep, and now we're throwing everything into the pot because this, this really is tense now because I need to make sure I overtake him into the next corner or so or on the final straight. I'm going down the inside into this corner. Is that going to work? Yes, he's gone deep again. And I've taken P5. And I will take that for a bag of chips. Someone's disconnected. But I have taken P5. And it's a well... It's a well... Oh, for God's sake. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. I feel like shanking myself with a toothbrush. I really do. I really do at this stage. If he doesn't have a penalty, I'm going to top myself. I'm going to top myself. I'm going to top myself if he doesn't have a penalty. <laughs> and he doesn't have a penalty either. And I f***ing do. Oh no, I don't. I thought I did. No, I don't. <laughs> And make sure you follow me at Minimap.
Wait a minute. If Matt was shot just then, after ITB killed himself, who was there to kill Matt? Was there a third person involved? Why am I speaking in this overly dramatic American voice? It, it doesn't make any sense. Who... Who killed Matt? <laughs>